Hi, I'm Patricia with Buzz and Bark Animal Reiki, and today we're going to be talking about the benefits of hiring a holistic vet. And this is not to insult conventional vets, it's just that I'm an animal communicator and a Reiki practitioner, and most of the conventional vets do not work with animal communicators and Reiki professionals, so I promote the holistic vets who do. Okay, so I'm going to start with some flute music for you and your pet, just to bring in some calming, beautiful energy. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the benefits of hiring a holistic vet. And if you want to see the article that is related to this, the article that inspired it, please go to Metaphysics for Everyday Living and click on the blog. And that's metaphysics, the number four, everydayliving.com. And then click on the blog and you'll get some animal related articles and I believe if you go down about two or three posts you should be able to find the article on holistic vets. I also write for Animal Wellness Magazine so if you look at the last I think two or three issues you should be able to find some articles that I wrote on either Reiki or animal communication. Okay so why hire a holistic vet? Well one there's not that many out there so if you can find one then you want to support them um, they're usually I wouldn't say under attack but they're definitely uh, experienced tension coming from conventional vets and conventional signs and just like people who do astrology or you know different kinds of metaphysical work or alternative healing you know they get the woo-woo and so a lot of it is treated you know, kind of um, close-minded, judgmental um, attitudes toward holistic vets. On the other hand, there are a lot of people that swear by them. Now, what is a holistic vet? A holistic vet is a vet who practices acupuncture, homeopathy, uh, laser therapy, uh, chiropractic, um, herbal, herbalism, naturopathic type modalities. Now, they could be an integrated vet, which is what Marty Goldstein, um, if you see the documentary called uh, Dog Doc, it features him. Um, he is an integrated vet. So he used both conventional and holistic. And so there's a lot of myths, I think, about holistic vets. And you can actually do both. You can actually do conventional vets for some things and then holistic vets for other things, um, depending on whether you can find a holistic vet in your community. Now there are, I believe, schools that do teach people how to become holistic vets. I don't know where those would be, um, but you can look those up. I think there's a lot of holistic vets in more like England and maybe Europe. There are quite a few in the United States, but they're sort of, you know, the United States is huge and so they're sort of spread out. If you're in Canada, then you might want to check out uh, Canada, but I think the holistic vets in Canada actually are under scrutiny if I can um, trust this one vet that has, he was, um, I guess, fired or something. He's more holistic um, than conventional vets. And I guess he got fired from the um, clinic where he worked. And then he started his own YouTube channel on, you know, being a holistic vet. So the benefits are that you're doing no harm. I mean, you're using more a natural, uh, you know, close to nature type remedies. They're often less expensive than the conventional remedies for people who want to avoid, you know, big pharma and all the rest of that. And also the cost of conventional vets, they're very expensive. That might be a way to go. Now, if you have an animal with a severe health issue, 
it might not be able to be addressed by a holistic vet. You'd have to have consultations and ask them what would be in the animal's best interest. Now, sometimes, you know, um, I think some holistic vets do surgery, um, but for different types of diseases or um, I don't know if you had to have an, a, a leg amputated on an animal or something like that. I, I would think that the conventional vet would be better, but then I don't really know. That would be something that you would have to consult with the different vets and find out um, intuitively what you feel most comfortable with. You know, get all the facts, do your own research and that sort of thing. But for acute problems, maybe even for some chronic problems such as ear infections or, you know, parasites, um, you know, just the um, uh, tension, stress, um, arthritis, um, a lot of those things have been addressed by holistic vets and done well. And um, the other one would be um, some of the, you know, anxiety or um, maybe you're concerned about the animal's diet. Well, the holistic vet's going to have more background in nutrition than the conventional vet. So if you're also somebody who gets acupuncture and chiropractic care and maybe you go to a holistic doctor, then you know what is offered and you know when you need to go to a conventional doctor and when you can go to a holistic doctor. So it's pretty much the same with animals, but definitely it is less invasive and it's closer to what would be considered natural as in the natural world. You're going to be using more of a supplements, more vitamins, more of uh, different herbal remedies, homeopathy, and that sort of thing rather than um, big pharma. So that's one way. The other thing is, like I said earlier, it could be less expensive than a conventional vet. It might not seem like it up front, like maybe the first consultations are pretty pricey, but then after that, maybe the price drops. And, you know, I don't think acupuncture sessions are all that much or um, some of the other things they do aren't going to be all that much. And a lot of the holistic vets started out as conventional vets and decided that that wasn't for them, that they wanted to do a more natural approach. And so they do have their original training in, you know, the conventional, but then they went and got some additional training, which made them holistic vets. And then they made that choice to do that. It might be that your, um, maybe your animal is less scared to go to a holistic vet, or maybe um, some of the holistic vets do mobile services, so they actually come to your home. So instead of you having to drag your pet to a clinic, especially cats, because you got to put them in the carrier and you know, they're upset and it's kind of a mess, uh, you know, you can actually have them come to your home. So you should find out if you have like a holistic mobile vet in your area and I think a lot of areas actually do have them. I think a lot of the holistic vets are actually mobile vets unless they're integrative and then they have like a clinic. But if they're like a single person vet, like they don't have a bookkeeper and you know, the techs and all the rest of that, they're doing it by themselves, they're usually mobile vets. So that could be something that would be helpful as well. And Okay, so the, the cost could be less, they could be mobile, um, they're using less invasive um, types of, um, and they're also um, more in balance with, with Gaia and Gaia consciousness. And they um, also, a lot of them are needing patients right now because most people will just go to the conventional vet. And so I've seen that a lot of them have been doing some heavy marketing, you know, um, getting more clients to come in and that sort of thing. Um, they can also offer, I'm thinking, a palliative care. So if your animal's at the end of life, they may have, you know, some ways of maybe using some Reiki or some acupuncture or, you know, different things to make the transition easier um, for your animal. And if they don't do Reiki themselves, they may invite somebody in who's a Reiki master or Reiki practitioner, or they may know some other, um, they have more of a network and so they work with an animal communicator, they'll work with, um, maybe they have a trainer that they, they're networking with, maybe they have a list of dog walkers for people who need that, and maybe they're uh, connected to the daycare for pets, and you know, so they may be more um, connected within their, um, you know, the network so they can do referrals and that sort of thing. And I'm running out of like, I'm running out of um, benefits because I didn't 
put the list in front of me and I can't remember what I wrote in the article. That was kind of silly. Anyways, I'm going to end that there then and, and just say that that's something to think about. And the um, documentary that I mentioned is called Dog, D-O-G, Doc, D-O-C. And it's the one on Marty Goldstein. Now, Marty Goldstein, he's no longer practicing um, veterinary medicine. He became more of a, um, an advocate. So he goes and he does lectures. He also started his own dog food um, company as well because as a holistic practitioner and also somebody who eats a healthy diet himself, he wanted to make sure that, you know, that there was healthy food for, I don't know if it's just dogs or if he does it for cats as well because the documentary that I saw had mostly dogs in it. Yeah, I think it was a dog documentary. And he's known for being one of the um, first pioneers to use holistic medicine to heal cancer in, in dogs. And that's all in the documentary. I'm not advertising the documentary. I just feel like it's a really good place to learn about holistic vet, holistic vets. The other thing you can do is in your area, just look up holistic vets. So if you're in a major city, there's got to be at least one holistic vet, but I've seen them in rural areas as well. Or you may be near a city, like say you're two hours away from a city, so you may have to commute to the city, or you might be able to get a mobile vet that would come to your home. So um, that's just something to look into. And if you are somebody that, you know, sees a naturopath or a homeopathic doctor or, uh, you know, acupuncturist yourself, then you're already versed in what holistic practice for animals would be. I mean, it mainly just mirrors what you would do. And the other thing too is I believe when you have natural pass and holism, if they're not on any kind of insurance plan, I believe you can get longer visits. So you're just not rushing in and rushing out. There's, it can be more tests if they need to be done. Um, maybe they check the vitamin levels, check the thyroid, you know, check all these different things. And then you also need to be um, savvy with any kind of vet in that you want to make sure that the tests that they're ordering because you're paying for them if they're really necessary you know are they just routine tests that are done on all animals or is there really a reason why that test is being done because some symptoms are coming up and you know and do your your diligent research to find out if you know certain tests are necessary and how much can you do on your own like how much can you go to a natural food store or you know pick up different uh, vitamins and remedies. How much of that can you do on your own and how much of that uh, needs to be done by a vet and also, you know, and also ask them too, you know, like um, maybe they have a product that they want to sell you in the clinic, but then can, you can say, well, is there a product that I can get, say, ordering online or can I get it through like the pet store, you know, like, you know, that sort of thing or the country store or whatever it is you have in your area. You know, so maybe you can save some money because I think that the holistic vets, I believe they seem to be more price effective. I mean, they seem to be more um, focused on the animal, not so much focused on the profit. Obviously, they have to make a living, so you have to draw the line somewhere. But I just get the feeling just with holistic doctors, I don't feel like they're overcharging. I don't feel like they're um, tied in with a particular drug company or um, an insurance company, you know, they don't really have any sponsors as far as I can tell. I'm talking about the true holistic vets. Um, if they do get to the point where they do have sponsors and all the rest of that, then you might want to question that a little bit because the prices might be higher or they might be trying to upsell products to you and, and that. So always use your uh, common sense and, you know, pick up magazines that are about holistic healthcare for animals and learn everything you can. Look for websites that are written by holistic vets. You know, it doesn't have to be the vet in your area. And actually it'd be better if it wasn't the vet in your area because then you're going to get more objective information. And if you do have a holistic vet in your area and you are going to them or thinking of going to them, get on their newsletter um, mailing list so that you can find out, you know, what kind of products they have, what kind of services they're offering. And also, you'll also see how knowledgeable they are on certain topics because they'll feature a certain illness or a certain vitamin or um, you know, something like that in their newsletter. So then you'll see how educated they are and what their philosophy is, and you can get a feel if you want to work with them or not. Okay, so that is the end of my Buzz and Bark topic for the week. And again, that is on holistic vets. And if there's any topic that you want me to cover that fits under um, this sort of um, alternative or complementary uh, services for pets, please let me know and I'll cover it. In the meantime, please subscribe 
like, share, leave some comments. Nobody ever does. <laughs> it would be nice to leave some comments. And if you also in the comment section, you can ask if there's any other topic that you would like me to cover. And I am a uh, Reiki practitioner and animal communicator. And I will leave my link below if you want to sign up for a session with me for your pet. They're all done distance or remote. And so I don't come to your house, you don't come to an office, it's all done through Zoom or MP3s or combination thereof. So thank you for watching. I hope you will join us here on Buzz and Bark Animal Reiki and have a wonderful week bonding with you and your pet.